So the 19th of June, 2012. Getting ready for a little evening cruise back to city proper. Nice little evening sun. And there she lies. Unassuming exterior. Powerful, quiet interior. Let's go unpack her. Gotta climb down first. So, 15 minutes ago, we were there. Now we are down in the boat. And we're all uncovered. And more or less ready to go. And I'm gonna call it time for a well-deserved beer. Why well-deserved, you say? Well, we just installed our Wi-Fi router to come on whenever the Soliton comes on. It's on the same power leads. That Wi-Fi router has a little Wi-Fi network unsecured that communicates with our Android phone. In the future, we'll have a tablet and have some more space. But for the first time now, I have it in neutral. We have RPMs, uh, 620. We have motor amps, that's 32 amps. And we have controller temp, uh, 22 degrees Celsius. So that'll add to our data set with the battery box temperatures and our shunt, which will give us pack voltage, pack amp hours left, and pack amps. So, we are pretty much set for our evening cruise. And the fun thing is this dash will also give us the GPS and map coordinates. So it'll give us uh, kilometers an hour and acceleration and uh, it'll probably load a map for us. Okay, that's about it for now. Let's unhook the boat and take a cruise into Amsterdam. Into the setting sun we go, leaving behind our trusty spot. Off to the city of Amsterdam for an evening's cruise and a bit of charging. It's the first time we're getting to see here that what is a 3 amp draw on the pack is on motor side 55 amps at 700 RPM. Up that a little bit. Now we've got 14 amps on the pack and we're up at around 91 amps at 1400 RPMs. This is already a, it's a nice cruise speed for city. City driving, 12 amps, 80 amps on the motor. So we'll go under the bridge and head out into the open water and uh, see what the new data says on the higher draw. It's just hard to convey um, how incredibly nice it is to be able to do this kind of a cruise in the boat I love, but without the sound and the vibration that I've come to really hate. I mean, our quiet drive is not like it's, it doesn't exist and you turn on the blowers, you hear them. But really, I mean, we're doing a four amp draw on the pack doing a nice 750 RPM that's on the motor side that's about 60 amps a little under and uh, speed wise that's five kilometers an hour now this is a perfect canal cruise speed 
not a sound, no vibration, it's really nice. Um, I had found that a pack draw of about 160 amps is a pretty smooth sailing. I'm going to see how we can get this on film in just a sec, guys. Okay, what we're going to do here is accelerate till we get up on a plane and then try and find that sweet spot where the pack draw is about 160 amps. I've noticed that's a real nice cruising speed. Uh, it's under 2C for the batteries, so it's a nice continuous drain. Um, and it has a nice kilometer an hour speed, almost 40 kilometers an hour last time I checked. So it might give us a nice range uh, at a good time as well. For the first time we now have the motor side uh, RPMs and amps and the controller temperature. So we're going to see if we can get some readings uh, and I don't drop the camera out of the boat. So, uh, for this run we will turn the blowers on and uh, get her straightened out a bit. There we go. And power on. We've got 160 back amps. That is 173 motor amps and 3,600 RPM. And we're doing 35 kilometers an hour according to the GPS. It's a nice cruising speed. Definitely have the feeling that you're getting somewhere. And this will still drain the pack pretty quickly, but uh, this is really not excessive. It's really pretty good. Make sure we don't hit anybody. There's a lot of space. comes the sun over Amsterdam. We're cruising at 168, which is 35 kilometers an hour. Three and a half thousand RPM. And uh, uh, the motor amps are outside of the range. And this is our amp power counter going down. Definitely eating some power, but it's doable. At only 168 amps for the batteries. Holding at 261 volts and dropping, actually. This is a 90 series pack Winston lithium 90 amp power batteries. DC voltage. DC low volt amp draw, 18 amps, 12 volt circuit sitting on 13.4 volt, holding out 168. I'll slow us down. So we came from Little Harbor, the bridge in between on the other side of that dam. And uh, we cruise out through the opening, and now uh, we're in one of the main waterways, actually the main waterway, um, coming into Amsterdam from the east side. It's under that bridge through the sluices, and uh, we'll be there in no time. Take time to see a nice quaint Dutch. 
old school harbor side. It's been a lot of boats on these waters. Not too many electric speed boats though. So the problem we had here was my amps were falling off the scale. Um, I believe if I remove and then I add a soliton one gouge, I go for high amps, 150 to 1800. I unlock the dashboard, stick it over here, lock it again. Okay, the cool thing is, so this will give me the low end amps, just not that clearly. Uh, but it'll give us our high end amps as well. So now we're gonna do zero cruise to full open and see what that is in amp draw on the pack versus amp draw on the motor. And I'll keep this uh, focus on the motor if I can manage to not drop the camera. So three, two, one, into the setting sun. Fifty-nine amps on the pack, three hundred sixty-three on the motor. Must have been a peak a little higher, uh, and we're doing forty-seven hundred RPM, holding at two hundred forty volts, three hundred fifty-nine. This is doing forty-seven kilometers an hour. Okay, we're definitely required by law to chill out as we come towards these uh, bridges. I don't really like people sporting around too much here. So anyways, as we uh, go down to the slow cruise, uh, the first numbers indicate that 160 amps on the pack side at uh, about 270 volts gives us a good 37 38 kilometers an hour uh, very sustainable for the batteries and uh, the motor um, running full open uh, is more of a 360 amp draw um, you're only going 10 kilometers an hour faster at 47, 48. Uh, with full pack and uh, not fighting the current as we were just now, uh, that would be about 55 kilometers an hour on uh, with good conditions. Uh, but it's interesting how you can really uh, make the most out of your range and experience by uh, finding a sweet spot for your setup, whatever the weight and power uh, distribution might be. So, sitting in Amsterdam City Sluices, waiting for the gates to open into Amsterdam City proper. We're sitting pretty and we have lights. Just managed to dig out the wires and connect something behind the dashboard. So, for the first time, we'll enter Amsterdam legally lit, which is pretty good. Dashboard comes out nice at night as well. Now the extra setup. 
now we're back up to 295 volts and uh, the gates are opening now it used to be that right about this time you'd have to ruin the lovely evening turning on the four cylinder engine and off the sides here and the city sluices that sound just kind of reverberates back out onto you but tonight all we need to do is anchors away Yeah, I figure they won't mind if we go. It's such a pleasure to be able to cruise through here in style. The city out in front of us. So what's it like at city speeds? We're still in the open harbor, so uh, we can do a little more than in the canals. This is 45 amps out of the pack, a 283 and a half volts. And that correlates to 157 amps for the motor. I've uh, been running close to 60 volt degrees on the controller. Definitely need to get that uh, water cooling in there. Um, about 2,000 RPM, and all of that equates to 11 kilometers an hour. Got the blowers on, battery boxes at about 20, 23. And I'm gonna bring it down. This would be a nice city cruise. Perfectly quiet. Eight kilometers an hour, just above the legal limit for the canals, which is seven and a half. Faster than walking, slower than a bike, is what they tell you. And sitting at about 13 amps which is 91 amps for the motor at 1200 RPM. So I think we'll finish our evening cruise at these settings. 